it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a, another cleaning video, but I also wanted to change it up a little bit and do some cooking as well. So it's going to be a cook and clean with me. The food that I am going to make is what we call pastatino, but we kind of changed up the recipe a little bit. I actually had it for the first time whenever we went and visited my mom's best friend who is also my godmother and that was years and years ago. Yeah, the recipe actually has marinara sauce on it but we use Alfredo sauce instead. So we kind of changed it up a little bit. One thing that I'm kind of bummed about is that I forgot to get some garlic bread when we went to the store. So we are just going to have to make this meal without garlic bread. But I will be making a side, probably some peas. And yeah, so that is what I'm gonna make. But before I get started on cooking, I need to actually do some dishes so that I can use those pots to cook in and just clean up the kitchen a little bit. So let's get these dishes done so I can get started cooking. So like I said, I need to get the dishes done, but I still have all of these dishes from what I did this morning. So I need to put them away so that I can clear off my drying mat. <music> Originally, I was just going to wash the pan that I need, but I went ahead and decided to just wash all of the dishes so that I wouldn't be backed up later after we were finished eating. So I have a lot of dishes to do. up with these dishes and now we can get started on making the pastatino. We moved into the RV and I had to tweak the recipe because the bigger pan that I usually use doesn't actually fit in my oven. So I have to make a smaller batch and that's why in here you'll see that I half everything. These are the ingredients that you need, but I will make sure to have the ingredients as well as the instructions on how to make this in the description box down below. To start out, you'll want to boil a pot of water so that we can cook our pasta and brown some ground beef as well. Now that the meat is browned, we need to make sure to drain the grease out so that we can add our Alfredo sauce and whipping cream in there. And then we will want to simmer our sauce mixture while the noodles are cooking and follow the directions of the packaging on the noodles. Usually around the time of me adding my noodles to the water, that is when I go ahead and preheat my oven. You'll want to heat the oven up to 350 degrees. So the noodles are all finished cooking. Now it's time to start putting everything together. So you'll want to put the noodles back in the pot and then we're gonna pour the sauce mixture on top of the noodles. At this point, this is when you want to add some of your Parmesan cheese and the oregano. Make sure that you don't use all of the Parmesan cheese because we'll need some for later as well. Once 
once you've put all of that stuff into the pot it's time to stir it up and get it all mixed evenly and then we are going to put it in our pan and top it with some more of the parmesan cheese that is going to go in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes Pastatino is all done. I'm gonna get started on my peas. If I had a regular kitchen, I would have did this while the pastatino was in the oven, but living in an RV, you can't really do that. This is a propane oven, so we have to have the vent on. I'm just going to follow the directions on the packaging. Here is a plate of my food and it was super yummy. Now everybody has eaten already and it's time to clean up the kitchen, put the food away and just straighten up a little bit. So I'm going to be doing the dishes again. I feel like I'm always doing the dishes. everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye guys.